so welcome back guys this is madhav pvel and today we are going to discuss about uh, another two topics which we have left in this past video so one is the kernel data structure so what is kernel data structure so before knowing that we should know what is meant by kernel so kernel is nothing but it acts as an interface so it acts as an interface in between this user interface and in in this uh, um, so memory interface right so let us just be clear so kernel is nothing but it it, it is a low level programming language which will act as an interface in between this user program and the hardware control so basically this is a definition which we can just get in some books so the kernel is a computer program at the core of a computer's operating system that has a complete control over everything in the system it is a portion of an operating system code that is always resident in the memory and facilitates interaction between the hardware and the software components yeah so let us just be clear so what is a kernel data structure so the kernel will get a lots of processors and it will get and it will also get some lot of programs to run right so the lot of programs running in a same state will just create some confusion so kernel has a three types of tables where it will just store the data in three different types that is process table file table and v node and i node table so the kernel stores and organizes a lot of information so it has a data about which process are running in this system so their memory requirements files in use etc to handle all these three important stretches are used these are process table file table and v node i node information so basically let us just get in deep let us know what are all these three so explaining every term process table so the process table stores the information about all the processes running in the system this includes the storage information execution status file information etc so this process table stores the storage information execution status and file information these all three required files will be stored in this process table whereas in the file table this file table contains the entries about all the files in the system if two or more processes use the same file then they contain the same file information and the same descriptor number so let us just consider if we just save two types of files in this same memory then in this python we can just if we just click on this address of those both files they just give the same address so it will not store any different addresses for two same files with a different uh, places so it will just give the same address for this same files so those all files will be in this file table and v node i node table are the references to the storage system of the file and the storage mechanisms they connect the hardware to the software so v node and i node tables will just give us instructions to how to just store the data so the storage mechanisms will be explained by this v node and i node tables and then let us just know what is a sleep and awake so what is sleep and awake the process which calls sleep will get blocked by the process which calls will get waked up so let us not get not get confused so let us just discuss this example and at the last we will just get to know what is meant by the statement so this is also known as a producer consumer problem so what is producer consumer problem so producer will, producer will bring the data then consumer will read that step by step so this is the producer and producer will just bring the data and consumer will eat the data so this is easy to say but let us just know this and i will just show some code in this notepad so this is a basic code about this producer and consumer problem so i was just designing the slots in this buffer and then i was just uh deciding this count value as zero and then this is a code for this producer and it doesn't have any return type and this is a item which is a type of integer and then while true this is for the purpose of the recursion of the loop then item is equal to producer item so we will just take this input and producer will produce an item so if count double equal to n if the buffer is full then producer will see sleep so if basically buffer is nothing but it is just a stack so if stack is full then producer doesn't have any other works like 
so if the stack is full then producer will just get into sleep right so this is about this uh, second line and then insert item so this item will just get inserted into the buffer if it is uh, if count not uh, equal to n and then count is equal to count plus one so count gets gets incremented so if count double equal to one then the producer will wake up so if a consumer if there is at least one item in the buffer then wake up consumer so consumer should eat the whole data in this buffer so not even a single data should remain in this buffer so if count double equal to one that is if at least one item in this buffer is uh, still remain then it will just wake up the consumer to just eat even that one part also so, so so now let us just consider this consumer so item int item while true this is for the purpose of this recursion and if count double equal to zero that is initially the consumer will sleep if the buffer is empty if there is nothing to it then what the consumer will do is he will just sleep so item is equal to remove item he will just remove the item one by one from that buffer so count is equal to count minus one so as count is double equal to this n that is count will be in this last position right so it will just move a little bit back from 1 to 1 so if count double equal to n minus 1 that is nothing but if it reaches its uh, last position that is nothing but at last if uh, one of its I uh, item buffer is just remind then it will just wake up the producer then he will just ask to give even that so the producer should produce the data according to this buffer so he need to just fill the buffer without even leaving any single slot so that is the concept of this producer and consumer that is a, late, a little bit of con confusion so you need to just do this further research so now this is about this producer consumer so if there are any doubts regarding this video please put your doubts in this uh, comment section i will just try to rectify it so thank you for listening guys nice.